Hi everyone. My name is Akshay Bharti and I'm the product specialist over here at ENM. Today I'm going to introduce you to our new safety scanner from SIC called as ScanGrid 2. This safety scanner is the world's first multi-beam safety scanner which works on the principle of solid state technology. This scanner offers field of view of 150 degrees with a maximum warning field range up to 4 meters and protective field range up to 1.1 meters. This scanner comes in two different variants. One is IO and another variant is CAN Open. They both differ in terms of number of protective field, number of monitoring cases, and the communication interface. This scanner has a compact form factor, which has a height of only 43 millimeters. So it's a perfect solution when it comes to space constraints in your AGVs or AMRs. This safety scanner is configured with the help of our safety scanner software, which is called Safety Designer, which can be downloaded free from our website, sick.com. Now let's jump into the software where I'll show you how to configure this scanner and transfer the configuration. Here I have the software from SIG called as Safety Designer. As you can see, our scanner is live and we are connected to the scanner. This is the overview page which gets, tells you all the information about the scanner, like the name of the scanner, what type it is, the type code, serial number, the life status of the scanner, and so on. The next step would be to go in the configuration tab where you get into readout. This is basically to have the checksum information. If it's different, then you just press click on read from device and then it gets into the software. So we can leave this as is, we don't have to change this. The next one is identification. This is basically where you put project, project name, application name, description about the application and so on. The next one is fields. This is where you draw protective field or a warning field for the scanner. Um, first, let's add a field set. So I've added a field set. Field type is protective field. If you want warning field, you can choose warning field. Um, so protective field is basically the field which is tied to the OSSD outputs, whereas warning field is tied to the universal output. Now, after field type is assigned, we can also choose object resolution, what or how big of the object needs to be detected. By default, it's 70. Sampling rate is basically uh, if you have scenarios where you get false strip because of dust particles, in that case, we can increase the sampling rate, which will eliminate false strips. So we can leave all these settings as is for now. Let's draw a protective field. So this is my protective field. Now, let's draw another field, which will be our warning field. So for that, I'll add a field to the field set, select warning field, and draw a warning field over here. After I have drawn my fields, my next step would be to go to the inputs outputs tab. This is basically all the pins which the scanner has, out of which first two pins, which are pin one and three, are assigned to the power, which are already assigned. The next two are OSSD outputs, so you can just have it as is, which is over there. The next one is IO, uh, where you, you have to assign basically uh, universal outputs. So you can select any of these. Um, you can have a monitoring result. Let's say, for example, you want to give some kind of visual indication when warning field is infringed. In that case, you will use this type of output. Or you can have a contamination output where if the scanner is dirty, then it uh, sends an output and you get to know that, okay, there's some problem. Or you can assign it as an error output. For now, it's assigned as monitoring result. So we leave it as is. The next step is monitoring cases where uh, you define cutoff path for each field. So I'll drag my field set over here. So cutoff path for my protective field is OSSD pair one, which is already, designed, already assigned. But there can be scenarios or different scanners where you have more than one OSSD pair, then you have to assign a cutoff path. And warning field is uh, assigned, as I told earlier, it's assigned to the universal output. So universal IO, universal output is already connected or assigned. And then after this step is done, our next step is to go into the transfer process. Over here, what we do is we transfer the configuration from the laptop or the software to the device. So we transfer to the device. Now it will prompt for a test mode, basically saying that you can test the scanner, it's working how it is supposed to work. I say yes, I test my scanner like see if it's all good. 
Once that part is done, we click on verify. It generates a verification report, which is basically all the details about the scanner, like serial number, hardware number, um, bill of materials, and dimen uh, dimensions of the fields, and, and so on. After this is done, we scroll down and we verify it by clicking OK. Once that is done, our scanner configuration is transferred and the process is done. Thank you for watching the video. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any additional questions. Thank you.